Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this channel, this is the platform where we look at the soul connections, relationship, and energy around some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be looking at what's going on with Olivia Rodrigo. I haven't done a reading for her in a while. I think the last time I did a reading for her, it was about a relationship so we'll look to, and, and at, at this moment whoever her partner was their name escapes me um so so please let me know in the comments so we'll take a look and see if that relationship is still going on and what is happening in olivia rodrigo's life as always these readings are simply just my energetic opinion they should not be used as actual facts or receipts and should never be used to send hate or um, they're not based on, excuse me, actual facts or receipts and should never be used to send hate or accusations to celebrities. So this reading is for Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, we have the Four of Swords with Justice, some Libra energy, the Ace of Wands with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups in Reverse with the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups, some Water energy, the Devil in Reverse, with the king of pentacles okay and then we have the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so i'm actually going to pull some clarifiers because we have a couple of different energies coming through two different male energies coming through libra energy and water energy also capricorn so y'all let me know in the comments what her sign is or any pertinent signs of people involved. Okay. Y'all can sit right here because I feel like y'all need to be out. The Six of Cups, okay, so reconciliation being thought about. The Three of Wands, the Tower in Reverse. So let me let me tilt this a little bit so you can see a little more. Move these over here for now. The Tower in Reverse. There's definitely some sort of breakdown. The Six of Six of Discs in Reverse. The Three of Pentacles, third party situation. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's look and see. These cards were just calling to me, These this little stack of cards. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, the Star in Reverse, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Four of Discs in Reverse. So there's a lot of different energies. I know we got a lot of cards out. <laughs> for one person but there's a lot of different energies coming across here so I'm gonna move these down as I break through because it's two feminine energies two masculine energies that are coming through in this reading and so the queen of swords and this libra energy is more so coming through as Olivia I don't know if she's a libra or if she has libra in her chart 
Um, and you know what? This Queen of Cups is more so about her emotions toward the situation. So there is only that one feminine energy coming through. But I do feel like there are two masculine energies coming through in her life. So we're just going to start from the beginning. Right now, I feel like she's coming through as this Queen of Swords and has reached this place of peace because, you know... Uh, there had there was some sort of breakdown that happened in this relationship and I feel like she has really realized a sense of self-worth and there is this desire to want to reconcile with a true love but I'm not sure who the true love is because what I'm saying is I feel like there are two masculine presence that are here and so one of these energies I feel is a true love from the past and it's like having a desire and like feeling at peace with the fact that she wants to pursue this or wants to sort of see if she can come to either like some closure or just a place of understanding with this past love okay because <clears throat> third party energy is being echoed in two different ways actually in three different ways in this reading so we have the four of pentacles and the three of cups here so it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like i feel i get this sense that she may feel like a sense of inner guilt because she has feelings for this other person and has allowed three of cups these emotions for this third party person to interfere in the stability of the relationship that either she was currently in or isn't in anymore or something like that and so it's like i feel sort of guilty i say that because we have this ten of wands which is like this burden energy with this three of wands in reverse this three of wands is like i want to move forward but it's like i'm looking back and i'm saying like am i wrong for this should i not be doing this even though this ace of this ace of wands is like but i feel so pulled toward this other person like i can't help it i feel so pulled toward this other situation that i feel is coming from her past and so there is this sense of like i'm not sure if i'm doing the right thing but 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 has decided with this four of swords and this justice card that i'm going to move forward with this anyway because i can't this energy that is pulling me i can't resist this pull and so I do feel like with this Ten of Cups in reverse, with this King of Wands and the Tower in reverse, this is talking about some sort of breakdown that happened with this fiery male energy. I don't, I feel like from this male energy, they're not happy about the breakdown. They feel like they are losing, um, you know, this connection, this Ten of Cups, this happy family, this, this love. They do feel a sense of loss with this upheaval because I do feel like excuse me Woo. I do feel like for this male energy it came across as sudden and they weren't expecting this from her or like this is the way that this is coming across um and then and it's because they do have a lot of love for her this ace of cups the queen of cups in reverse with the six of pentacles they do have a lot of love for Olivia and view her as like someone that they feel emotionally connected to but they know that she's holding back the six of pentacles is talking about like this this way that she's holding back in the relationship whether they're together or not and there is this knowing at least on the subconscious level that there is this other masculine energy this king of pentacles this third party king of pentacles that is there and is creating this temptation on behalf of olivia in this relationship like that's literally what it's saying and so we have the eight of swords and the ten of pentacles here because there is this i feel everyone every party is really like in their own head about how to move forward in this sort of like love triangle if you will and everyone is trying to hold on to what they desire which is this connection with this queen of swords with her and she is at times feeling 
not hopeless, but like just sort of down because it feels like a no win situation. It feels like a lose lose with the six, six of wands. It feels like I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. I'm going to lose someone. I'm going to come off some type of way to someone. And I feel like I can't win in the situation. So let's go ahead and look a little deeper, even though we already have so many cards out. This is an interesting, I mean, it really is coming across like these two, these two masculine energies that are sort of competing for her. And her coming to this realization that she wants to reconcile with one of them over the other one. And it's like unexpected. Give it one more shuffle. All right. I knew you had some things to say. Oh, okay. Uh, so relaxation. And then, you know, the first card that came out was the Four of Swords. So this is talking about her really like meditating on her decision making and like just coming to this like quiet place in order to hear what her soul wants to do instead of just getting caught up in the loudness of her mind. Purity, that's the connection that she wants. She wants the connection with the masculine that is the most pure. Um, you know, what? Oh, hitting the camera. Whether that hurts the other one's feelings or not, that's what she wants. She wants this new beginning in the connection that feels the easiest, the most pure, the most authentic. Okay, we also have purification. So this is what this is why she's sort of in this sort of um, you know, the hermit card didn't come out, but like that's how I would describe it. I would describe it in a state where it's like a mental hermit. She may still be like around people doing things, whatever, but like mentally, she's very much in this meditative place trying to come to a purification of her feelings so that she can connect with the masculine energy that feels the most authentic to her and then we have three more we have healing chaos absolutely so this is also what's happening in this process for her healing emotional chaos gener generational curses baggage like moving some of those things out of the way on an energetic level so that she can make the best decision for herself finding that inner peace so beautiful look at these koi fish and that's also speaking to her finding that inner peace in that connection that feels the most pure that is really balanced and aligned with her and then ultimately choosing what is going to make her happy wow but i do i do feel like both of these masculine energies are like fighting for her pull pushing pushing into her energy field and this is why she's sort of ret retracting away from both of the energies in both situations so that she can come to the conclusion about who she wants to reconcile with chakra at the bottom of the deck yes um you know i'm hearing the john mayer song say what you need to say like this is about her gaining her voice and realizing that she has a right to pick who she wants you're not required to pick whoever people think that you should pick if that's not the connection that you feel closest to voice that you know what i mean and this is what she is healing in this process blocks in her in her ability to speak her truth and what she wants chameleon because she's yeah she spent a lot of time changing and molding for other people and it's we're done with that we're done with the energy of not being authentic right because that's what keeps her stuck okay oh yeah and she needs to surrender to the specialness of the connection of this reconciliation with this partner that she really wants to be with if she, you know what and it's like if she doesn't surrender to realizing this is a special connection it doesn't matter what anyone thinks she will remain stuck 
and so stop. Stop. Not surrender. <laughs> Period. So I'm so excited to see who Olivia chooses and I hope she chooses who is right for her soul and makes her the happiest. If you enjoyed this reading, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed so that you know every single time I upload here on this channel. You can connect with me at Official Chinez on Instagram and TikTok, both of which are linked below, and find out information on how to book your own personal reading with me in the description box and pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.